Okay, so to start this project, I decided to go with this DC motor. Now, DC motors make great generators. If you just turn it like that, it generates a voltage. So let's test and see what voltage we can get from it. Okay, so now that we've got this hooked up to my meter, let's see what DC voltage it produces. Oh, that is just terrible. I mean, 300 millivolts. Let's check the AC voltage. Also just half a volt. There's nowhere near 2000 volts. Okay, so let's go on to the next step. And as some of you would have guessed, that this motor was from a quarter drill. So now we are just going to put this back in here. And as you can see, it's got a planetary gear system. So let's stick this motor in, then turn it and see what type of voltage it produces. Okay, so now that we've got the motor back in, uh, I'm just going to turn this with the device script and just see what reading we get. Okay, that's a nice 3 volts right there. Okay, but I mean, it's still not 2000 volts, so let's go on to the next step. Okay, so we need a handle to turn this in because I don't want to be using my bar scripts all the time. So what I've done, I've just shaped that into a triangle so that it won't slide in here. If you put it this way, it'll start sliding eventually. So now what we're going to do, we're going to weld a nut on there with a shaft and so we can turn it quite easily. Okay, so now if you turn, if you turn it clockwise, then this will be live and that will be neutral. Turn it anti-clockwise, then obviously this will be live and it will be neutral. But I'm going to be turning it clockwise, so I'll be using this as a live and that's an, as a neutral. So let's go on to the next step. Okay, so now that I welded the handle together, we can just insert it like that and close it up. I then decided to make the project a little bit more appealing by giving it a wooden housing. cut two additional pieces. This is to stop the drill from going up and down. And like the title of this video, this is a really easy design and I'm going to show you why by using this Mosquito Racket PC board. So let's go ahead and take this PC board out. Okay, so once we remove the PC board, what we need to do now is connect the live and neutral to live and neutral on the motor. And then we're just going to bridge this switch out over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, before we connect the live and neutral to the drill, first of all, we got to add a capacitor. Now, capacitors are like fast charging batteries and they discharge fast as well. This is a thousand microfarad capacitor at 35 volts. This is a negative. 
Now the side is a positive. Now you can also use this. This also works fine. This is a 470 microfarad, 50 volts. Okay, so we're going to use this over here because it charges up quite well. So let's add this on and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now that we've got our capacitor in place, we are ready to connect to the drill. So let's put it in here. We're going to just hot glue this down like that and then just connect the live and neutral to the capacitor. Okay, so let's go do that. Okay, so we're finally done now with the enclosure and I've added some screws and then I've just soldered on some wires to the screws and then some thicker wires at the top here so we can have a spark gap and now we're ready to test so let's go for it. Okay, so this is the spark gap with the capacitor. Okay, so I think there's too much voltage going in there. You can see how it just damages capacitor. So what we're going to do now, we're going to try without the capacitor and see what sparks we can get. Okay, so this is without the capacitor. Okay, so I've had this a little bit closer and I've pulled them apart. So this is about 10 mils. So I think I'm doing way over 2000 volts here. So let's give it another go. That is just so cool. Okay, so I've, I've spread this a little bit further apart. Let's see if we can get a spark to go across. Okay, no, not that time. Okay, let's go a bit closer. I hope you enjoyed this video and ready to make your own hand crank generator. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.